So let me start this off by asking you a question. Were you or are you a big Xbox fan who's now in a state of dismay because of the direction that the Xbox brand is going into? Like, do you see the things that happened with Tango Gameworks? You see the 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 divisiveness of the release of Hellblade 2. You may have liked Hellblade 2, but you were kind of expecting it to be more and have more of an impact for the Xbox brand, and you're kind of bewildered on why that may not be the case. Are you trying to understand why Xbox just cannot break through and exhibit the Xbox of old? And you're really trying to figure out if the current leadership knows how to do that. Well, you are not alone. I, I can attest to this myself. Now, I may not be in the same spot as many of you who are currently feeling that notion now, but yet you you heavily favor the brand. I heavily favored the brand um, years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to say since 2019, 2020, I kind of like was took a step back and said, you know what? There are so many things that are being said about Xbox. There are so many things that are not coming true based off of what's being said. I feel like I'm quote unquote being beat over the head with a cash register and just being held on to until they can pivot for my money and go do things elsewhere. And I think evidence of that is the APK testimony where Phil Spencer talked about how he would rather be in mobile gaming, how he feels like console gaming or the AAA um, console scene is, is kind of like a Polaroid, it's old news, and he'd rather be in mobile gaming. Well, that doesn't fit me, and you're not gonna continue to get my money in, in just by stringing me along in this perpetual state of weight. I felt that back in 2019, 2020, so I pivoted from them back then. But are you feeling those urges now? Shout out to Mighty Keith. Mighty Keith um, helped bring attention to this sentiment. Um, even though he's not an Xbox fan, he is highlighting an Xbox fan who pretty much um, is doing just that. Um, in this tweet, he talks about that, you know, a, a particular video that's out there now where, um, a, a serious fan of an X of Xbox. They, you know, they're, they're known for going after the ponies and all that other stuff. Um, that they put Xbox to task, right? And I've seen this video. I took a look at it. I watched it, and I might say that there's 99% of the video that Mighty Keith highlights um, from this person. I agree with, but there's one percent that is key, that is vital, that they left out, you know, coincidentally. And that is, yes, Microsoft and Xbox have been very negligent for a long time with the Xbox brand. They have completely separated it from its core base, from their expectations. They've put up a lot of smoke and mirrors to make them think certain things are happening when they're not. And that's not cool, but the signs were there. What happened to the content creator community, even one of which who created this video? Where's your responsibility in all this? Because gamers flock to us because we're supposed to be the subject matter experts and the better, at least at the, at the very least, rather the better explainers of what's going on. Like a lot of people don't have trust in those corpos. They don't have trust in the journos. And that's why a lot of them come to us. That's why the gaming content creation scene has blown up the way that it has over the past seven years. So what happens when we, the final stop in this misinformation train, what is it when, what, what, what does it mean for gamers and viewers and consumers when we don't be the filter that we're supposed to be? Do we get to just wag our finger at Microsoft? And I think not. We are just as implicit in this as they are. Because if we were out there at the very least doing content like this routinely, while all this stuff was happening, maybe that forces Microsoft's hand to do better. But no, we're sitting, we're sitting out there making excuses. We're focusing on the ponies. 
We are sitting there making up terms like Xbox tax. We are sitting there supporting and trying to bully. We're supporting the bullying of people that have critical things to say about Xbox, even fellow Xbox gamers. This is all while Microsoft just rubs their hands together and laughs from their 30,000 tower, uh, 30,000 foot ivory tower looking down at us like you fools. So no, I don't disagree with the video and the sentiment and I'm and no and and yes, I'm glad to see people stand up. But this should have been happened and it needs to happen more routinely. Popping up with a video every so often every several months while stuff continuously happens is not the way forward and a set of videos and stuff that i'd rather bring attention to comes from this guy his name is mr matt plays and you don't get bigger as far as xbox fanboy or fan than he does but what he's been doing as of late is he's been consistent, not just dropping these little hit videos here and there so he can sound and seem objective, but he's been consistent. He's like, look, maybe I didn't realize what was going on. Maybe I wasn't too optimistic, but now I can see. So now that I can see what's going on, I'm going to do my part to try to influence better consistently. I'm not going to focus on the ponies. I'm not going to make any more excuses. I'm no longer going to be stuck in the perpetual state of wait. And you know what? If you're an Xbox fan, I urge you to go watch Mr. Maddie plays because look, not only has he been getting on Xbox's rear end, but he's still favorable towards, towards the platform and he has po a positive content as well. Like he has a video where he um, is very positive about Starfield. I couldn't disagree more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's an Xbox fan. So I, I I agree with the sentiment. Okay. So again, if you want to see who I'm talking about, it's this guy right here. Mr. Matt, Matty plays, check him out. He is the true, I think Xbox fan. That is really, I think taking the right approach to all this. But I, I, I do applaud everybody doing it, but I think he's 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 the one that's more consistent about it than anybody. What I also want to show you guys is this new skins and content coming for Stellar Blade, despite all the censorship bull crap and, and fights that that was out there. Yes, there are more content coming for Stellar Blade. Does this look like it's censored? No, you know what I'm saying? And last but certainly not least, um, there was this tweet from Tim Sweeney, which I thought was a gem. We had an Xbox fanboy that asked him, Hey, we've been discussing the prospects of Microsoft partnering or acquiring valve. What are your thoughts on this from a consumer standpoint? Also from a competitor standpoint and Tim Sweeney, who I disagree with 99% of the time was straight on here. He said, I worry that the makers of edge Bing and windows stores, uh, store might struggle with the concept of running a service that people want to use. And even post up had to say nasty work. <laughs> so with that said, we got a, those are our honorable mentions. We also have some big subject matters that we're going to talk about in our um, podcast today. Um, we, we're going to be talking about uh, well, depending upon when you're watching this, either today or or later, whenever when you watch the VOD, um, we're going to be talking about playstation the big l to the to the community where they were trying to box playstation in a corner and say yeah there's stuff is coming day and date we're going to be talking about hellblade how divisive it is and can ninja theory survive this divisiveness and then we're going to talk about x defiant so all that along with the subject matters that i already talked about um are going to be on full display in a row podcast episode 62 join us for it you will love it you will enjoy it if you're watching it right now then you're seeing this as a precursor to the show don't go anywhere stick around but if you're watching this as a separate vod as part of the spill then definitely you're going to want to hit the card to the left hit the card to your left to go straight to the podcast all right and 
if you like this content please hit subscribe and make sure you rock those bells for notifications please till next time have a wonderful gaming day and yes don't forget hit that card to the left to go see the podcast associated to this in more detail all right till next time have a wonderful gaming day peace